what's next? What are, what are you what are you working on now? Well, I mean, like basically, I mean, there's two projects. Uh, one will be in Toronto. Um, it's in the King City area, and uh, what I'm trying to do there, it's 121 acres. It's a big parcel of land. And I've done quite a bit of work about a few years ago, and um, and God willing, is that we will. I want to put outdoor gardens to have events there, uh, different themed gardens, and uh, you know, and add from there on to it, right? Uh, now the other project it will be back home in Greece, uh, and it's a similar kind of project. The only thing is like a, in a in a bigger scale. Um, I call it a village, like it'll be a Peter and Paul's village that goes back 100 years in time. But in our language, it'll be like a, like a resort, a resort, but a, a, resor a very luxurious resort, but that goes back in time. You know, I like to see a spa and, uh, and all the amenities that go with the spa, like, you know, like uh, jogging trails, horseback riding, uh, all the exercise, tennis, swimming pools and all that. And on top of that is to see a complete village here, you know, with little homes and villas and stuff like that. So it will be a, like a self-maintaining. You, know, you stay here and I mean, it's like, you're gonna be like in heaven kind of thing. We're forgetting, like, I mean, we're living in, in a world that it's moving so quickly and so fast and we're missing out. Like, I mean, like, I mean, with our Blackberries now, we're like computers, like we're lost. People like cannot multiply, they can't add. Like, I mean, you need a, you need like, so we're mechanically controlled. Like we're not using our mind anymore. You know, uh, we're very little, you know, and so this is kind of like I want to, I want to do it for my area. I want to do it for Greece. <clears throat> and I want to do it for the world because, I mean, it's an opportunity to go to this place and be able to have experiences and to learn about things. The amazing thing is that this massive project grew out of a simple promise that Peter made to himself and to God. He won't elaborate on the exact details, but what I do know is that when he lost it all 17 years ago, he vowed to build a church if he was given a second chance at rebuilding his empire. That church was the beginning of something bigger than even Peter could have imagined. When things went bad in the, in the 90s, uh, that's one commitment I made. I said, look, I said, I, I, I want to build a church one day, you know. I made a, a certain commitment with a guy up there that that's what I want to do. There's not a lot of people that can say that they own a mountain. <laughs> What's that like? Again, you know, like, I mean, I haven't really, it hasn't really sunk in into me, the magnitude of the project. You know, uh, my, my last trip, it kind of like, like, because, you know, we're talking, we started talking about the, the designing and, you know, things are going on paper and all the zoning and everything is good, you know. So, like, the find it kind of clicked to me. It says, like, this is a big project, right? Uh, but, like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not the type of person, you know, like to say, okay, I own a mountain and I own, own this. Like to me, like, I mean, it's almost I do this for other people, you know, like, you know, the stuff that I explained to you before is like, I, I, want, I want truly people to, uh, to experience this because, I mean, yeah, it's making money, making money, but then like how much money do we really need, you know, uh, to live and to, to have even the additional things that we like to enjoy other than the norm, right? You know, so once you surpass it, I mean, like, okay, so you can get make more money. I mean, like, okay, what are you going to do with it? I mean, like, you know, you can only have so much. You can only spend so much, you know. So might as well create something that, that it will be there forever. Mm -hmm.